And here's the watch station terminal. They're offloading another set of subjects to us today. I don't know what these men and women did to deserve being sent here, but since they were transferred from civilian penitentiaries, I can only assume they're the worst society has to offer. I don't think these people have any idea what's about to happen to them. One thing's for sure. These prisoners would have been better off serving their time elsewhere. I'm starting to hear rumors around the block that I don't like. Esteban told me that he overheard two of the eggheads saying that the prisoners are having the brains cut out of their heads or something like that. I know that the brass is running experiments on these inmates and that they were pretty intense, but I didn't know they were literally cutting them open. I'm not sure how I feel about that. After all, I joined the military because I wanted to serve my country and protect my fellow Americans. Guess I'll keep it to myself for now. The rumors floating around the block are getting worse. One of our informants said that the prisoners are talking about rioting. If the things that they're saying are true, that inmates are getting dissected and the parts used for robots, I almost can't say that I blame them. Esteban said we should go right to Gamma 9 status, but I don't want to push the panic button unless I absolutely have to. I've decided to take this all the way to the top and meet with General Rawlings. Criminals are not. These experiments are wrong, and they need to be stopped before it's too late. Roderick got reassigned out of the facility today. I think they have him scrubbing toilets at some backwater listening post in Anchorage now. They put me in charge of the cell block and I initiated Gamma 9 status. After two days, the threat of rioting has ended and everything is back to normal. The brass gave me the go-ahead to start sending people to the medical section and everything is proceeding as planned. If we have any hope of beating the enemy at their own game, we need to get these robots online. Who cares what happens to a few lousy inmates? I told Broderick he needed to fall in line, but he wouldn't listen. Of all people, I would have expected him to understand that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few.